what's going on everyone i'm back from hanging out on a farm and riding in the combine and the grain cart so i think it's time to talk about custom show trucks so smash that like button because it's a peterbilt go figure also while supplies last there's a link in the description to buy one of the dcp replicas of Big Rigs series number four. I'm Logan, the 64 of the Gear Jammer Skill, and I talk about diecast replicas. Heads up that a video is coming soon on DCP Big Rigs series five. So make sure you go on and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Today, I've got a 2002 Peterbilt 379 hauling a Wilson grain trailer to talk about. This ride hails from the state of Oklahoma. Justin Allison Trucking is headquartered in Woodward, Oklahoma. Justin's family has always been in the trucking industry and Justin has loved trucks since he was a kid. Go figure, right? <laughs> Being around trucks all the time would fascinate a kid and lead him down the path to being a trucker and owning his own big truck. Justin Allison Trucking was founded in 2007 by, I'll bet you can guess, Justin Allison. Justin started out as a hotshot outfit with a hotshot truck. This business did well for him and eventually he traded his hotshot truck for a Kenworth K100 cab over. He got his cab over from his uncle, Randy. Trucking was in his blood, and he progressed slowly into specializing in commodities, flatbed, and oversized transport. Specialized commodities include grain, which explains why DCP put a grain trailer in this Big Rigs release. To get his current ride, this beautiful Pete that DCP replicated, Justin traded his old cab over to his friend, Seth. Justin's current ride is a purple 2002 Peterbilt model 379 with 70 inch stand up sleeper. Since he got it, Justin added turquoise stripes and many other custom features. Most of the work done to this rig was done by Justin and his father adding real sentimental value to this ride. Justin has a very understanding wife who supports this crazy obsession of his. He is very thankful every day for Candace supporting him. Justin is always saying he couldn't have done it without her support. One of Justin's favorite things is to take his boys trucking with him whenever he can. It is his hope that they will get the same enjoyment from trucking that he does and eventually become the next generation of truckers. Wishing Justin and his family the best and that this ride keeps on trucking. Now, let's head on down to the rock quarry and talk about DCP Big Rig's replica of Justin Allison's custom Pete 379 pulling a 50-foot Wilson Pace Setter grain trailer. And here we go, guys. This is Big Rigs series number four. Justin Allison Trucking's Peterbilt 379 pulling 50 foot Wilson spread axle pace setter grain trailer. Comes in the special Big Rigs packaging, as you can see, that is a limited edition. It also has a certificate of authenticity in the back. On the ends, you can see actually into the box and the number is number four. Plus, the back of the packaging here has a really nice picture of the truck, two of them, his logo, and some information about Justin Allison and his trucking company. Really, really nice piece and great packaging. The item number for Justin Allison Trucking is 69-1006. And here's the certificate of authenticity. It says that this was one of a thousand pieces made. And then you can see it says Justin Allison, owner, and Adam Knight, both of their signatures. Really, really cool. And here it is out of the box. 
a beautiful purple and teal stripe 379 Peterbilt pulling a 50 foot Wilson pace setter grain trailer in black with a black tarp. Here is that gorgeous Peterbilt. Now, if you'll notice, it has one really long wheelbase and chassis on this truck. That frame is really stretched out. Has rear show fenders, a black fifth wheel this time, not body matched, but up higher, you see it does have the body matched deck plates on it. No pogo stick, no airlines or electric lines on this one, but the black body matched. It has a 70 inch sleeper option. And then here it has the multiple uh, roof light, really a lot of roof lights, cab option, and the chrome visor, chrome exhaust acts that turn back and out just a little bit and then cut straight, purple matched fuel tanks with chrome straps. Down there is the battery box and steps, and I'm not sure if you can really see it, but there is the Justin Allison Trucking logo is right there on the steps. It's painted on and it's really hard to see because of the colors. Chrome hot stamping along the bottom of the cab and right here and here. Also truck number 5150 is right there on the chrome hot stamping. Chrome breather, chrome mirrors. 70 inches have this window here and then it has the chrome trim around it. Toolbox door here and little door handle, door handle on the cab. It has short-term affair tampoed right up there. Lights across the back of the cab, grab bars, and then the corner pieces they're tampoed on. This one also has the chrome bumper option uh, behind the fenders. Doesn't replace the mud flaps because they're still behind it, but here is the bumper, and then it's got four brake lights on each side, and it's a chrome piece. Purple frame this time, purple underneath, fuel tanks, orange engine and transmission, purple rear axles, air brake canisters, differentials, and drive shafts. Positionable front steering, not true steering, just positionable, but that's typical of all DCPs, except for some of the first gear toolings that they've shared are actually straight axles. Take your pick. I kind of like the straights, but a lot of guys want them to steer. Under the hood, got the big red orange, actually it's orange engine on this truck. Chrome piping, chrome turbochargers, all the details we're used to. Custom grill option with single round headlights, the old bandit style. No Peterbilt tampo up there. And then it's got the drop visor and two running lights right there on each side. This is the Wilson 50 foot pace setter grain trailer. I recently talked about the Wilson Commander grain trailer, which has the sloped ends. And you can see that with the link down below. If you missed that video, go watch it after this one. But now I'm gonna talk about the pace setter, which has straight ends on it. And this is the 50 foot spread axle version. You can see how the axles are spread and it's a pretty long trailer. 10 hole chrome wheels, soft rubber tires. Where the crank handles would be to crank open the traps. Well, they're not really there, but the traps do open. See how the bars slide. When I get to the underneath, you'll really see it. It has its DOT striping. Lots of little marker lights running across the top. And then Wilson Pace Setter trailer logo tampoed right there. There's also safety tampos here for your landing gear, which is the standard screw down type. Front of this is chrome plated, the front of this trailer. See how my pointer is reflected in it? There's a ladder so you can climb up and look in. It has some warning signs, a little teeny tiny catwalk there, grab bars, big Wilson trailer logo up there, and then lots of other warning tampos down here. I think they're all decals, but because that's what they look like. It's really, really nice detail, and they're pretty legible. Passenger side looks just like the driver's side, only it has these loops here. You can see these little hook things which is where the tarp rolls up into and locks in place so they can load your grain trailer. Then you unroll it so you can drive off and not lose any grain. Round on the back, Wilson trailer logo tampoed mud flaps on both sides. Oh wait, also the first axle has the Wilson trailer tampoed logo on the mud flaps. Brake lights, marker lights, and lots of marker lights. 
Man, he really run the marker lights all the way across on this one, so he could show it off. Has a purple band up here, and then it has Wilson trailer and another Tampo there. It has Justin Allison trucking and his hometown right there. Tampo on the ladder, and then a little catwalk. Now, there is a crank for this one that would go right here, and there's a little hole it plugs into. Now, the crank is in the packaging, and you have to put them on yourself on the pace setter trailers. I just don't usually do it because it's a pain. They have a tendency to fall off and you lose them. I just leave them in the package. Looks fine without it. There's a little loop step here and then that. It's also a place where you can mount a license plate. It's too bad they didn't tampo Justin Allison's license plate there. That would have been really cool. Up top, you can see it has the cloth tarp and it is rolled over so that it looks like it is closed up. That's how you would transport the grain or leave the trailer stored but it does open up and the easiest thing to do is just fold it over. If you got patience, you can actually roll that tarp up. See the rivet detail on the hoppers inside. There's two different hoppers. Also all the roof bows, which hold up the tarp are really, really nice pieces put in place, rivet detail, and then the traps. See my hand through it. The traps are open and they close. Now you can see they're closed, so you hold the grain. You can see it has the rear axles and air brake canisters on each one in the spread configuration. You see how the traps are open, bottom of the landing gear and the kingpin, which is set up right. And we can slide these traps and show them off as closed. You can't really use the cranks. It'd be cool if they could, but I'm glad they didn't. I just like the slide is fine. However, if you do put stuff in these trailers, be careful because those do slide easily. And that is Justin Allison's Peterbilt 379 pulling a Wilson 50 foot pace setter grain trailer for Justin Allison trucking. It is Big Rigs Series 4 release from DCP. A great piece for your collection. What did you think of Justin Allison's real ride and the model that DCP made of his truck? Let me know down in the comments. I'm not the biggest fan of custom show trucks, but I totally appreciate the hard work that these guys put into them and do put a few models of the classiest rides, like this one, in my own collection. While very limited supplies last, get one of Justin Allison's truck and trailer models with the link down below. Coming soon, guys, will be a video on the DCP Big Rigs Series 5. So, make sure you go on and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please, go on and smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with some new content and another episode of Toy Talk.